We won't be here too long uh, at this angle. I wanted you to make sure you guys could see the cutting board. We are going to make, and I'll link it in chat. Someday I'll link in chat. My laptop's really slow, but uh, I'm gonna make paleo breaded chicken. And I'll probably cut it up, maybe not quite nuggets because I am an adult, but I mean, I still have chicken nuggets, so it's all good. Uh, more strips, something like that. So that's why we're at the cutting board. I got mm, five pounds, about five pounds of really raw, runny, delicious looking chicken. And by delicious, I mean very raw. We're gonna cut it up, we're gonna make a uh, I, we should probably do that. Nah, we'll do it later. Um, we'll make a, a flour. Well, I'll use coconut flour because I have way too much of that that I never use, uh, which is paleo. Um, I usually don't eat normal grains or the conventional grains like wheat or white flour or anything like that. Yeah, come on over for dinner. There's, there's going to be plenty. Five pounds. I can only eat probably a pound of it. Hey, I'm Diesel. I'm doing great, man. How you doing? Foxy loves chicken nuggets. Who doesn't love chicken nuggets? I mean, God bless America. How you doing today, Diesel? We're just getting started. You're just you're just in time. So we'll uh, I don't know. I'm o I'm okay with chicken nuggets. I mean, if, if you guys like chicken nuggets, and I feel better about chicken nuggets. Hey, Travis, how's it going? It is time to cook. That's right. Three in the afternoon on a on a Saturday. Gonna eat at a good old four p.m. Old man hours. But I'm totally, uh, I'm, I'm totally fine with that. I can eat anytime. I mean, my, my eating schedule today was kind of messed up anyways. Um, so we had a, so I, I'm a CrossFitter. We've been doing this uh, online competition the last uh, couple, five weeks actually to be precise. Last five weeks and for the most, for most of us it's over today. And uh, so we, we celebrate at the end of the gym. They get the, uh, Brought in barbecue, and I brought some beers in for some people, and ate some very not so healthy things to celebrate. So I have a kind of a weird appetite today, or I don't know, weird weird eating schedule would probably be a better way to describe it. Yum! Yes, raw chicken, right? So chewy. Um, and if I miss anything, in chat, please feel free to re-say it too. I apologize. It's I don't, like I like the stream labs and I like streaming from the phone. I love doing cooking streams, but uh, this is, it's definitely harder to read chat. And I have to touch the screen every time, I think, to, uh, in order to read chat. There's probably a way to keep chat up all the time, but I haven't, uh, haven't figured it out or haven't taken the time to figure it out. So here's about two and a half, about half of the chicken. Yeah, I don't, don't really love cutting raw chicken, but it's got to be done. Otherwise, it'll be really massive chicken breast, which I don't think will cook quite as easily as chicken nuggets. Um, once I get all this cut, I'll share the recipe with you guys. And really, the recipe I was going to share with you is actually probably not really the right recipe. Let's see here. Ch chat. The title needs to be changed. I changed the title on my computer. And it says the title of mine is right, but I'm guessing I'm guessing just Twitch didn't announce it. Oh, thank you, thank you uh, for catching that though, guys. I I don't know if I I guess I could change it for my computer really quick. Um, I don't know. At this point, I have chickeny hands, but yeah, thank you for catching that. I tried to do that for my computer before I went live, and I don't know, Twitch sometimes doesn't update it. Oh, it needs to be IRL? Okay. I'll, uh, I'll go do that really quick for my computer. Hopefully it'll work. Don't want to violate the terms of service here. Ugh, chickeny hands. All right, BRB guys. Don't want to get kicked off of Twitch.
All right, I am back. Thank you guys. I saw I saw the chat in there. So I think uh, somebody had surgery. Was that Callum? Or sorry, uh, Fluffy. Well, thank you so much for the. I saw the bits come through. Thank you for the bits. Um, let's see. Let me. Or at least it looks like there's bits that came in through the other. I don't know. I, either way, thank you guys for being here. We'll just say that. Um, this this chat on here isn't matching the chat that was uh, on there. But yeah, hopefully you're feeling well, man. Surgery is never any fun. But at least it is a good excuse to, to chill for a while and watch Twitch or play video games. So hopefully, still says Hearthstone. I changed it on. I did actually forget to update it on my um, before I went live. But uh, yeah, I think it will take a minute to update. Thank you guys for catching that. All right, only one massive more chunk of chicken. To do. What are you guys up to this Saturday? Everybody, what are, what are you guys doing today? Rachel, are you streaming later? You're going to do some uh, Jackbox games or some WoW? Ta-da! Here are the bits. Holy crap, there's 500 bits. I can barely hear them though, but thank you so much. Let me turn this up just a little bit and drop you guys. It's a blooper reel, guys. <laughs> thank you so much, Fluffy Man. Man, I mean, just coming in clutch from... Uh, from uh, the surgery chair or the or the bed or wherever you're you're uh, like laid up at <laughs> 10 a.m. to 3:30, imagine hit rank rent. Yeah, that's awesome. That's uh, and it'll only get easier too as the uh, as the month goes on. I mean, one of the biggest things that I tell people that are trying to rank up too, and this is something I even just kind of relearned a couple months ago kind of before I hit Legend again, was especially at rank 5 and above when you don't get the bonus stars and stuff, is just stick with a deck. Like, stick with a deck that you like. Even if you lose uh, 3 or 4 or 5 in a row and you think, oh, well, this deck doesn't work anymore. It definitely still works, especially if you're using a high-tier deck, um, which I usually do. I usually net deck and use one of those. But, um, you know, stick with that deck and, and just master it. Like right now, I feel like I'm a master of Murad Paladin because I've played it so much. I mean, throughout the year, but even especially lately. And so, and mastering a deck makes it so much easier to figure out what you need to play around. And then when you know how to play around stuff, that's what gets you to you know rank five and and the legend and beyond. So that's that's what I try to tell people, even if they don't want to, even if they're not asking me. That's what I usually tell them. We're going to wash our hands only to get more chicken on them. Uh, we are going, I'm going to move you guys into a better spot anyways. All right, come with me if you want to live. Yeah, I will coach Leela the Legend. I'd be happy to. I need to spend some more time on your guys' stream. I know your stream's great, but I want to, I want to kind of see your guys' play style some more. Let's see. Hey, who cares? How you doing? Uh, let me get you guys propped up. Do you, if you guys can see how ghetto rigged the stream is, you would un unsubscribe, unfollow, ban me. All the, no, it's not, not that bad. But all right, let's see. Yep, you can see me. You can probably see the snowblower in the back. I should have showed you outside. While while we wait for this. Um, in there, I'll, I'll show you outside. Better light on. Eh. We'll go light off here. Always a debate on that here. I debated you guys with extra light here. Let me catch up. But yeah, I'd be happy to do that. And the, the paladin I was playing was Maroc Paladin. I haven't really tried out the dude paladin, but I know it's it's pretty strong. But I think some people would say that uh, uh, Maroc Paladin's a little bit stronger, which I I kind of feel it is. Yes, Rachel. Rachel's Canadian Rachel. And she's streaming today after her lunch. So it is, I think it's 1.30 there, right, Rachel? I can't, no, wait, you're, you're one hour behind, so uh, 2.30 for you. Unless you guys don't do the daylight savings time like we do. Layla, sorry. <laughs> Layla, sorry, I probably did say uh, Layla. No, we'll get the lights off. All right, so what we're going to do over here. We're gonna make, uh, we're gonna throw some flour. Well, actually, we're gonna throw some egg in one of these. I am not Canadian. I am 
American. Uh, I know that's a Kappa joke there. Pretty good. Pretty good. I always say smork, and I, I would agree with that. Leela and Lila. I don't know. Lila. I guess I could. Yeah, I don't know. I can't see it. Um, let's see. Laptop froze. Perfect. Just in time. So what we're going to do is we're going to. We're going to make an egg wash and then we're going to put uh, some flour and some seasoning in our third or I guess our, our second plate. We'll do bathe it in an egg wash just so that the, the flour will stick. We'll throw it on this and we're going to bake it. Um, well, I can't see the, the instructions, but I think uh, 15 to 20 minutes on 400 degrees. Um, I have some coconut oil spray. Asmo calls you Lila. Hey, you know, he's a, he's a celebrity. You know, sometimes the celebrities don't want to learn the names, so. I mean, you guys call me, you can call me Lila if you want. I don't care. You guys are cool. I mean, it's not very close to my name at all, but it's fine. Seems good. All right, so eggs. I forgot to grab the eggs. I only have two eggs, so the recipe that hopefully someday I'll be able to share with you, it might actually be post-stream, unfortunately, because my laptop has taken taken a turn. It is really old, and it was pretty pretty garbage when I bought it, so I, I don't recommend getting a, a Lenovo Yoga uh, laptop. I've been pretty dissatisfied with it. Trying to crack the eggs. Oh, there you go. That's why we need the apron, guys. Time to get the apron before uh, fatal mistakes happen. Almost got a knife juggled by an egg here. Just missed it. Right, it's so close to leable. It is only one syllable off, you're right. I like them both a lot. I mean, uh, let's see. Leela's. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, Leela's I mean, Leela's a really cool name from uh, um, Futurama. That's what I always think of. Uh, let's see, we'll get. Do I need a fork? We're gonna beat the beat the egg up so it's. Uh, Ta da! Foxy dug these up. She'll trade you for some nuggets. <laughs> Thank you so much for the bits. I mean, you guys can have the the nuggets for free, but yeah, you guys are more than welcome. I mean. Five pounds. How many pounds? How many pounds can you eat, Layla? No, but uh, I, I usually do some food prep for the week. I try to stick to a paleo-ish diet. And uh, yeah, so it's it's easier for me to just cook a crap load of food on one or two days. I usually do a chicken recipe and then a you know, a fattier meat recipe, like a, usually ground beef, like for meatloaf, um, occasionally some other stuff, but it's usually meatloaf because that's easy and all such. But I have been in a little bit of a rut as far as what I've been eating. Uh, she can eat them all. I, that's, that's what I want to say. Number one, chicken nugget eater, N.A. Layla. Yes, I am, a, I am N.A. And thank you again for the bits, if I didn't already thank you. How many pounds can a fox eat? I don't know. It sounds like a pretty good riddle. I keep wanting to turn this on because it's it's uh, it's habit. So we're gonna take all these little pieces of a former animal, rip rip chicken. Uh, we'll bait it up. I guess I regret a little bit cutting this up now into chicken nuggets because that's just more dipping and, and the such I need to do. I also forgot to do my flour. So this is. This is like the first time in a long time I've made this, so I'm in Iowa actually. How about you guys? Where are you guys at? Yeah, bam! Get the old emerald. Oh, nice. You guys do paleo also? Yeah, paleo is sweet. I uh, I've really enjoyed it. Uh, my CrossFit gym kind of encourages it, and you know I've really enjoyed that. Um, but this has been the first time in a long time that I've made this. So I kind of forgot, you know, a vital step. Well, 
great. So I, because I can't see the recipe, I'm going off memory here, which is usually dangerous, but it's fine. I mean, I think the rest of this is kind of like up to your discretion. So we'll just throw a cup of coconut flour in here. I think we, we may need more. I think the recipe was like a half cup, half cup or a cup ratio to per like two pounds or two chicken breasts, which is probably a pound and a half, but we're, we're just going to wing it. That's what I do. I, I wing the crap out of it. Um, but you guys can follow the rules and make a better, better, more delicious dish for sure. Um, we'll do a tablespoon because you can almost always never have too much salt. Although last time, last weekend, um, I definitely over salted my, my stuff, but it was actually all right. I'm still fine. Even over salted. I assaulted it pretty good. Oregon. Nice. Oh, or Travis is in Oregon here. Taxachusetts. <laughs> I like it. Heavy taxes there. So you guys are probably have ton of snow on the ground because you guys probably got the nor'easter too, right? <laughs> no, you make me do as much work as possible. It's all good. <laughs> hey, thank you so much for hanging out. I really appreciate it. Yeah, and I'll also have a YouTube video out for this. I've been pretty good. Um, pretty good about putting YouTube videos for my, my cooking stream. So I'll, I'll put those out there. It won't be a lot of editing, so you can feel free to fast forward to the interesting parts. But um, let's see. Should measure this, but yeah, we will. We will. So it'll just be a matter of putting the seasoning in here. Just going in. Eh, that's probably too much, actually. But you can't really have that much, too much pepper or garlic or salt. That's pretty great. My, my secret weapon here, though. Yeah, yeah, hopefully I make them right, too, so that you can learn learn correctly. But I think it's a pretty easy pretty easy food. But this is my secret weapon I'm going to try. Not in the, re in the recipe, but this is Cone Rico Hot and Spicy Jalapeno Seasoning. It's really not that hot and spicy, to be honest. Uh, but it has a really nice kind of zing to it. Um, I've introduced it to other people, and they really enjoy it. I found it at a local grocery store, but once I was having trouble finding it, I found it on Amazon. And I recommend buying, I mean, maybe you want to figure out if you like it or not. But if once you like it, once you fall in love with it, guaranteed, um, you can buy the six pack of it and either make friends or just have a lot of it to go. But it it's a, it lasts a while, but it's just salt, ground jalapeno, pe yeah, ground jalapeno pepper, black pepper, garlic, and other spices. So I don't know what other spices are, but they're delicious. So just seasoning this up and then I'll... I'll mix this up, but, oh, oh, so good, so bueno. I'm going to throw some onion powder because it's delicious. Probably not a ton. I think it just called for garlic as well. So I really, I mean, since I can't see the recipe, I'm just going to do what I want, which is usually what I do anyways. And we'll just see how bad it is. You guys, I'll empower you guys with the recipe, and then you guys can make your stuff taste way better. I'll eat anything, so it doesn't even really matter. We have garlic, onion, salt, pepper, jalapeno seasoning. It's pretty good. Do I want to put anything else in there? Probably not. We'll try this. So I will... I'm going to stir this up. What's a good way to stir this up? As you can see, I really planned out all my moves here. I did, I did try to plan this fairly well, but there are some new things that are popping up. Now we're actually getting snow here in Iowa. Um, it was, it's been snow raining all day. It just, it's finally sticking, at least in sticking on the grass and stuff, not in the street. So, but I'm just stirring this up to try to commingle the flavors. So, um, so everything's kind of even when I dip them in here. And then it's just a matter of throwing the chicken nuggets that are breaded on here, which I've greased up the pan. Go, you got some in Oregon too? I need to go to, go to Oregon. I can't remember, were you in Portland? Is that right, Travis? I think we were talking about 
Portland, right? And then how all the Portland people hate Portlandia, the show. <laughs> if I recall correctly. I could be wrong, though. Okay, so just stirring this up. I mean, if it's always Metro or nice, yeah, I need to go make it to Portland for sure. Whoop, whoop. Got it right. Hooray for a good memory, or goodish memory. All right, uh, let's see. All right, finally, we have our we have our breading. We'll just do a couple of these at a time. It's just going to, I feel like this is going to take like days at a time. Like, how long will this go on? Oh, they're so, so runny and sticky too. I gotta be careful because I really don't have enough eggs for all this chicken too. So I really should be letting, I think then that's usually what you want to do too is let the egg, egg bath run off just so you don't have too much. So it's good. Good. I'm figuring that out earlier than later. And I apologize if I miss anything in chat too. I'll, as soon as I get through all this, I'll catch up. I just don't want to put my chickeny fingers on there, but I appreciate you guys, uh, being awesome in chat, hanging out. All the bits, guys. Already hitting massive bit records. Thank you to Layla and Fluffy. And I think if I miss anybody others' bits, you guys rock. Okay, so we'll space them out a little bit, but probably not too much. So we got five pounds of chicken. I don't really want to do this in a couple. I want to do this all in one fell swoop. We'll see if that happens. I mean, I'm sure it's got to be snowing in Canada, right? If any, if Rachel or any of our friends from the north are on to confirm. Of course, just because it's snowing in one place in Canada doesn't mean it's snowing in every place in Canada, right? Obviously not. Okay, you're, you're hard to pick up. So I usually don't make this dish just because it's, you know, takes steps and it takes longer, but I've really been very... I don't know. I think I'm just kind of over the same like six, seven recipes I've been making for the last couple of months. I really just need to switch it up. And I think this is, you know, a semi entertaining thing to cook too. And it's, it's a challenge for me. You can see me ride the struggle bus through it. Although I don't think it's too bad. Just, uh, you know, getting messy. I may even try some non paleo recipes just to get, just totally switch up my diet a little bit. Sometimes you do need that as much as I am a health advocate. For healthy eating and living, I, I think there is a little bit of merit in uh, switching up your diet. Of course, cheat meals. You know, I definitely do that. Definitely cheated this morning. Probably need to order another pizza pretty soon too. I've I've really had pizza on the brain since my birthday. Um, where I think I I know I made a pizza, but it was it was pretty not even I wouldn't even say it was average. It was it was you know it was okay. Okay. I thought about doing music too, but maybe I'll do music next time. I could do music from my phone. If my laptop was living and breathing, it could uh, it could play music, but it's all right. I'll just continue to talk for the next however many hours I stream. Oh, oh my god. So we still got a little ways to go. We're about 20% of the way through. I think we'll play some Hearthstone later. Uh, probably hit Legend. We'll see. Um, I'm at rank two right now. Uh, I just realized, like, I do kind of want to hit Legend every month now that I'll, if I get the Legend, I'll be down to rank four. So I'm like, well, that's way easier than before to get the Legend compared to from, like, rank 16. So I think it's, it's something nice to attain. I don't know, I kind of liked the idea of playing a little bit of Wild, too. Um, just earlier this month, it was kind of fun, but I don't know. I still don't think people will necessarily like watching Wild, uh, which, you know, it's fine. I'm, I'm kind of the same way, too. I think I'd rather watch not Wild, standard, but... Oh, yeah. There's no way we're going to get all this in one fell swoop. But at least we can probably get some of this in in the oven. All right, so just so taking this egg wash, try to let the, some of the egg run off, and then put it in here. Just coat it. it doesn't have to be heavily coated. Um, there's other recipes that use almond flour as well, which I think most of them did. Almond flour 
is really expensive. Um, I don't know. It's actually probably cheaper than coconut flour, but I bought a lot of this a long time ago, and I want to use it. Um, but there's some with almond flour as well, and that gives a really nice crust to it. This is probably going to be not just going to be kind of like dried chicken nuggets, which is going to be fine. I'll eat it. I'm not picky. I'm not picky here. I mean, look at these fingers. I mean, these are like, how, how delicious does that look, right? Raw chicken, coconut flour, coated on your fingers. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah, I'm, uh, I did not know you were having surgery, Fluffy. I'm sorry to, sorry to hear you had a surgery, but hopefully you are feeling well. Everybody send healing vibes to Fluffy. I had a buddy that just had to have surgery as well. Um, he hurt, he actually like crushed his kneecap. So he, uh, he had to have surgery on that. That's going to be a little while to recover, unfortunately. So let that be a lesson, guys. Don't crush your kneecap. If you didn't already learn that, by high school or middle school, now you know. And knowing is half the battle, guys. Okay. I mean, this chicken's pretty sloppy too, so it probably doesn't need a ton of egg wash. But I don't know, egg wash is just kind of preferred to keep keep the uh, the breading on there. So I actually brine this too. I didn't I didn't mention that. So what brining is, and I, I actually literally learned about this a little bit um, yesterday when I was reading about it, but brining is you can uh, dry brine or wet brine. But brining, I guess, uh, I mean, don't quote me on it fully, but essentially it's a thing you do to chicken with salt and or pepper to make your, your chicken juicier and keep more flavor. So what it entails is you know, thawing out your chicken if it's frozen or whatever. Um, I did a dry brine, so a dry brine is just as easy as it could be. Just put salt and pepper on your chicken and then throw in the fridge for at least 30 minutes. I had it in for a couple hours actually. So hopefully it'll be brinier. I don't know if that's a word. And uh, what that does though is the salt, um, you know, by the power of science and magic and witchcraft, the salt helps, I think, uh, with the chicken, just getting into the chicken muscles and the, or whatever, and makes it so um, it retains more water and flavor. I think just it does something to the structure of the chicken to make it so it keeps the keeps it. So it makes it so that chicken tastes better essentially because chicken dries out very easily. If you overcook chicken, congratulations, you're eating a piece of wood. Um, that's one knock on chicken. Chicken's probably about the healthiest meat you could eat, arguably. Very low in fat, high in protein. But because it's low in fat, and fat is usually a source of the a source of flavor for us humans, um, just naturally. So it doesn't always have a lot of flavor. So you want to keep any kind of flavor you can with it. And that's why it was important that I, I season this uh, breading, because otherwise it would just be... I don't know, chicken with uh, coconut flour on it, which could be, maybe be okay. Might end up turning into that anyways. We'll see. There we go. That's a, that's a nice uh, powdered up one. Just up on it. Man, I'm really anxious to look at chat, guys, too. I'm, I will uh, check chat here shortly. I promise. I want to see your thoughts if you guys are messaging. Hope you guys are having a wonderful Saturday. I'm pretty excited about this. I haven't figured out a side dish, so I might just be eating chicken nuggets, um, you know, as a 34-year-old and a 8-year-old's body, apparently. But we'll figure something out, maybe. I don't really, I'm really not super hungry, because like I said, I ate a ton of garbage at the gym. But I still wanted to make this, wanted to eat some of it. It's probably for the better, too, because I know when I... It usually takes me like an hour to eat when I'm hanging out with you guys. I mean, not that that's a bad thing, but... I feel kind of wrong eating in front of you guys, but obviously I'm, yeah, I'm going to eat. 
I don't, I don't feel bad enough to where I'm going to starve because that's not going to happen. But I just love food too much. Okay, so these are fairly lightly breaded. Let me, let me show you one. I guess I could show you how much breading I'm really putting on it. I mean, this, this is about it. It's not, not a ton. Probably could use more, but I think I'm okay with it. I would be interested to see what favorite recipes you guys have. If you guys have ever, and if you guys have ever tried coconut flour. Coconut flour is very intense, I think. It's very, very dry. So if you made a bread with it, like it's, it's very dense, we'll just say that. Like it, it sucks the moisture out of everything. I, I, that's probably a better way to say it, instead of dense. Actually, almond flour is pretty dense. Coconut flour is very, very dry. Okay. Well, we're approaching the half-ish way mark, and we definitely don't have enough. Oops, forgot to forgot to step there. Uh, definitely not gonna get everything on here. So let's just finish. Ugh. Finish that tray, and throw it in there. Oh boy. Yep. We're gonna we're gonna struggle on the eggs here. We're uh, it's all right though. We'll try some of that egg. See how how bad it is. I only had two eggs left, and I was I wasn't gonna buy any more for this. So I really don't eat as much eggs anymore, except when I make this sweet breakfast skillet, um, which I made in episode one. Please check it out. It was everybody's favorite because I made four packs of bacon. So if you haven't seen that episode, it's on my YouTube. Uh, just search Mighty Rye uh, Twitch or Mighty Rye Hearthstone and you'll you'll probably find it. You should find it. Not too many other Mighty Rye's that play Hearthstone that I that I've uh, seen when I've searched. So it should be good to find it there. But yeah, that was a really fun episode. My first ever cooking stream. Uh, not too many fails. Mostly just bacon. And who who can't argue with bacon here? Okay, that's a massive piece of chicken. Probably too big, but yeah, I, I kind of regret doing nuggets now. I think I wish I would have did strips just to have less to less of this to do. It's also probably less efficient with space because every time you make a nugget, you kind of you put a little space in there, and yeah. Well, let's we'll finish this one off here. I'll clean it, clean off, and I'll take a quick break just as a check to see, check with you guys in chat. Okay, clean off my my floury fingers. Um, for those of you though that are watching, especially on computer though, hey jerks, how's it going, buddy? Um, let me, I'll catch up on chat here one second. How's your week, man, jerks? I know you've had a really rough week of work. Hopefully, hopefully it's gotten better, or you know, you just found a new job. One of the two. It's definitely, definitely been in situations where work is either overly busy or it's miserable, and you know, you spend a lot of your time at work, and you know, it's hard not to be frustrated and unhappy when work is not not bueno. Okay, so let's. Clean up her fingers a little bit. I'll be right back. Okay, now we're gonna throw these bad boys in the oven, and uh, we have a little bit of time. We can we can hang out and chat, guys. We can catch up. I'm gonna try the light back on. It's just too weird not having light. Hopefully, it looks okay. If it doesn't, I can turn it off. But since so I'm not wearing my glasses, it's just a little too dark for me. So let's uh, set the, the timer for 10 minutes and then we'll flip a Delphium and then we will cook the other side there. So let me catch up on the old chat. Yeah, thank you for doing the uh, the quest here too. Side dish equals pizza. Yes, that would have been that would have been a great idea. <laughs> yeah, use that, Murray, and hopefully you're still there. So and I hope you're having a wonderful day. I've done a dry and a wet brine a few times, 
dry brine does well, but wet brine tends to make the meat a little odd texture. Well, that's what I was reading with a wet brine. So that's where you use water and salt, and the, you know you leave it together in the fridge, just like a dry brine, but with um, wet brine, you use water with it. So what I was reading is it, you know, it, they, the chicken swells up, but it swells up with water, so then you're just gonna get a watery taste to it from what I see. Ooh, fries, that would be such a good idea. Why don't I have like normal foods in my house? Oh, fries are such a good idea. Back in 30 minutes, getting nuggets and fries. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh man, the, the camera holder is a little wobbly. Sorry. But yeah, the quest mode. Thank you, Who Cares, for doing that. I'm, I'm totally sold out. Not really totally sold out, but um, Salissa has the quest mode. For those of you that w don't watch Salissa or whatever, um, it's just a fun way to earn extra money. Like if you did it through my link, you'd earn money for me. If you did it through like Salissa's link or, or Waylo Fox has it as well. Um, if you can play mobile games. They're, most of them are pretty easy to do some of that stuff. Um, so like you, it'll tell you kind of what you do. Like a lot of times just from um, getting, just installing the game, you get a little bit of sub points. Every 2,000 sub points, um, you get a free subscription. Either you can use for yourself or gift to somebody, which is pretty cool. Uh, the other th really cool thing that I like is, I mean, obviously I'm going to be biased because I'm the content creator here, but like I just did this for Slissa earlier, is once you get to a certain point in games, you can actually just get a free, well, free tip. Nothing's ever free, but you can, like earlier today I was playing Tap Shots, which is a really easy one. Uh, it's a fun, kind of a fun little game. It's You play it for like five seconds every day and or play it as much as you want. And then after three days in a row, you get like a free two or three dollar tip. So I gave that to Slissa earlier. And then there's a 10 day one too. So if you play 10 days in a row and get the 10 day ball, then you'll get another tip or something like that. So it's uh, it's really cool. So I check out, you know, exclamation quest, or if you're on PC, you can kind of see it below in the panels. Pretty fun. I've been doing that. I'm trying to earn enough to give uh, Dr. Tingus a free uh, sub to Slissa's channel. Cause I promised him that. By the way, I heard Dr. Tingus's voice on Pathro is pretty hilarious. All right, let me catch out here. See, so no, still no PC. It's supposed to come in yesterday. Called the UPS today, and they were starting a lost package. Oh my god, this has just been like a week from week from heck for you, there, jerks. I apologize, buddy. United Parcel Services uh, feels lost, man. I'm trying to think. I had a bad experience recently. Like I bought something, I bought like a ton of protein from um, a website and protein, as you may know, is very, very expensive. So I bought like $250 worth, which is, which is a lot, but I'm like, well, they had a discount. So I bought a lot. Tinkus' voice is, he's, okay, if you think it's sexy, that's great. I don't, I have no problem with Tinkus' voice. I would, I wouldn't go as far as say it's sexy, but you know, he, he is a dear, that hurt. Dear, uh, dear uh, online friend of mine, though, so. Uh, hey, thank you so much, Travis, for hanging out. I appreciate it, man. Um, it's awesome of you to come by. Hopefully, hopefully you don't uh, get snowed in. Um, but, yeah, it was funny. Like, Tingus uh, was talking about, yes, he had, like, sometimes he talks on Pathra's uh, Twitch. And I'm like, really? I mean, are you that... That big of a fan, she just always has you on and talk about stuff. And they're they're doing like dating advice, which I don't know. I've never watched a lot of Pathra. Uh, I know a lot of people do, but I just it's not for me necessarily. But I, um, yeah, you're totally a lot. You're totally a lot to call it sexy. I I just was like thrown off. I was like, well, really sexy? I don't know. I I, I shouldn't say anything. So I I sound like a normal dude, but that's all. It's all good. Um, I probably overreacted to that, but. Uh, either way, either way, back to the story here. So, uh, Pather is giving like dating advice to like a viewer. The viewer's calling in, and then for some reason she has Tingus there, which is pretty funny. And uh, I think he was supposed to help with the advice because he has doctor in the name, and um, he just kind of 
He didn't say that. So sexy Tingus. We should we should start calling him sexy Tingus. I'm okay with it. I I like Tingus. He's awesome. I sh I shouldn't have said his voice isn't sexy. It's always always into the ears of the beholder. Is that right? So you've had shipping timing problems with FedEx and DHL's loss and damage packages for you. So nobody is reliable ever. It's better just to drive to the fulfillment center and get the package yourself. That's what we learned today. Probably not, but it does suck when that happens, though. <laughs> well, we can make this a thing now. <laughs> Let's do it. He'll not, he'll not know because he's not here, I assume. I haven't seen him pop through, um, so I'm assuming he's not here. But he never sleeps, I don't think, so I'll worry about him a little bit. Um, Maybe we'll put a little bit. I mean, I want to kind of share the recipe with you guys if it's physically possible. Um, so I'll kind of work on that a little bit. But to that, so back to my my shipping. Yeah, I get some sub points. I appreciate. It. Who cares? Um, the and I, I liked the dominations game is the the best game for earning like tips and sub points. It's basically Clash of Clans. So if you really like Clash of Clans, you might like that. I played it to the. I played mo a lot of the games just to that like first point where you can like earn a tip or, um, you know, I didn't pay for any real money with that. So yeah. So you almost buy a nearly equivalent system in person at a big blue store. <laughs> I think I might know which one that is. Uh, but once something slightly different, you get re good reward po reward points through Amazon. Yeah. Do you have the so you have the uh, Amazon uh, credit card too? I just bought that, or I just got switched over to that. I wish I would have had it in November when I uh, or knew about it back in November. So I just switched to that. Um, so we were talking about so my shipping experience was um, I bought about two hundred fifty dollars worth of protein. Um, I was at a, I think this is when I was in San Diego last summer too, and it must have came early. Maybe it came on Saturday. Um, and I was out of town from like until the Monday or something like that. Came back, I didn't even think about it. And it was like five or six days later, I noticed like, oh, this has been delivered. I'm like, nope, I don't have it. And uh, so, I mean, more than likely, it was just stolen off my my doorstep, which is you know not the the shipping company's fault. But when I tried to deal with it, um, I can't remember which one it came through. I think it was the U.S. Postal Service. And I was like, hey, can you do a missing package search? And they're like, they did it. And like the next day, they're like, yep, we can't find it. I'm like, okay. Like, is there more that you're going to do? And, you know, and they're like, nope. I'm like, okay. Good. Great. Grand. So, uh, I don't know. I mean, it's a little bit of different experience there. But that's kind of my crappy shipping experience. But fortunately, I went to the company. So, I think what I read was, then it's like supposedly the company that you buy the stuff's responsibility if a package gets lost. So I went to the, it was sfh.com. That's where I buy my protein. And they, they were awesome. Like, like I sent an email. I was like, oh yeah, we'll resend it to you. No problem. Um, so that was really good. Um, so they did that and I'm like, I shot them out on Twitter. I'm like, yeah, you guys are awesome. Thank you for doing this. No questions asked. Um, so that was good. Cause that's a lot of protein, 250 bucks. That's, that's enough for a company to be like, yeah, let's hold hold the hold the boat here. But yeah, it's a shame, jerks, that it you could have got one in, in person several weeks ago and uh, didn't work out online. And and it usually works out online. That's why we're so uh, as a culture very accustomed to using online because it's very reliable and simple. And certainly wasn't that way for you, unfortunately. Let me go throw these away. the first 10 minutes here on my microwave timer so let's take these bad boys out give them a flip man i wish i had fries guys can somebody pick up some fries for me it'd be pretty good not that i'm not hungry but i feel like i should have something with this i don't carry any salad otherwise that'd be a normal thing to put it 
put eat this with, I suppose. I have ketchup. That's a vegetable almost. Okay, so you can kind of see them, they're drying up a little bit. Uh, let's give them a flip. Yeah, that's a nice looking brown there. It's pretty good. I think I figured out, I'm going to try to do 10 servings. This is because this is five pounds of chicken. Um, I think I'm going to eat about, I think I figured out I was going to eat about 10 ounces. Wait, let's do the math on this here. Five pounds times 16 is 80. Or I think I'm going to do eight servings, maybe. And I'll the, we'll just eat. I want to try to stick to my diet for the rest of the day. This is looking pretty good, actually. Look at this char on here and I'll catch up on chat here shortly but it's looking pretty good actually I'm pretty pretty stoked about it but there's lots of different recipes for this um, they all had different temperatures and different times they're probably all very good um, I chose the 15 to 20 minutes on 400 as the kids say I'm just gonna throw this back in there and then we'll flip Flip these bad boys. Oh yeah, I like the idea of a side of pizza. Maybe we should just order a pizza online while we're playing Hearthstone. If I were that hungry, I probably would do that because I have a, a hole in my soul and it needs to be filled with pizza. I know that's a really weird thing to say, but um, Pizza has been kind of like in my, my dream, not really my dreams, but it's in, subliminally been in my head of something I need. So let's fill that out. That's a pretty thick piece of chicken. I, uh, I worry that that one's not going to cook all the way through. Okay. Otherwise, it's looking pretty, pretty solid. So we'll give our first brining experience a grade. Hopefully an A plus, but of course it's kind of hard to tell that the chicken's gonna be juicy because, like I mentioned, cooking a flour is maybe the driest thing on earth. It's drier than Dennis Miller's personality. It's so dry. There's a little zinger for you guys. Okay, let's throw this back in there. Let's go eight minutes. Just be on the safe side. I'll catch up on chat here. Hey, Sab, how you doing? Need more sizzle? I know, we need more bacon. That's what we need. You want pizza now? Oh, God, okay. And there's the... Okay, now we're back, sort of. Yeah, I'm really not a fan of the Streamlabs sometimes. Because if you just touch the screen in a certain way, it's like, yeah, we're going we're gonna to switch cameras on you here. All right, let me see here. Let me catch up. All right, Sexy Tingus, we got that. Okay, hey Sab, mighty, 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 mighty. So you can only see half my head. I have, uh, I saw, it's been a while since I saw the desk pictures jerk of the, the setup. So I'm not really sure. But you're happy with the cables, it looks like. Attaching the power strip was extremely satisfying. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I'll have to check it out. Mighty Ramsey? Why why Mighty Ramsey? Murray. Mirei. I could order your pizza, you who cares? Oh, you posted some yesterday? Okay. Yeah, I mean I'm on I'm on Discord like overload. And I just made the mistake. I shouldn't say mistake. I've just joined a couple more Discords. Um just to like look at some stuff too. So I, I need to kind of clean that out, but um it's it's hard for me to keep up all that. Having my own Discord, and thanks to Sab, Sab is an American hero. He helped me set mine up. So for those of you that are in my Discord, you can see that uh, once I go live or once I make an update on the Twitter or on Twitch, um, it'll post in the announcements, and uh, you know, kind of save a little time. I'll probably still do the manual announcements too, just so you guys can see it. But it's kind of a nice feature. It makes me feel professional. Uh, there's, there's certainly a server overload for me sometimes when I try to uh, follow everything that's being said or I need to maybe figure out, organize the um, 
notifications because sometimes I get notifi notified about things that I don't want to be notified about on servers that I'm like, you know, I came here once. It seemed like a fun idea at the time and now I don't want to be here. Um, and then some of the servers are will often do the everyone, which is fine. I mean, that's your server. They should do that. But, you know, if I don't want to get those notifications all the time, then I should probably not be on that server. So, so we'll clean up our life of Discord servers a little bit. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty happy with most of them that I'm on, but there's like a, a couple of Hearthstone ones that I'm on that um, I don't want to do. Oh, so you can suppress the everyone tag. Okay. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, I'll have to figure it out. I'll have to take some more time to clean it up. So many things to do in, in, uh, streaming world. Hopefully that doesn't help. Um, so we have another five-ish minutes before we need to put another batch in here. Uh, I'm a little concerned we're not going to have enough flour, so let's uh, add a little bit more in here. We put in a whole cup in. So I have a uh, doing teaspoons. It's a, it's a lot of teaspoons. Forty-eight teaspoons in a cup. So there's probably a better better instrument for this here. But I don't think we need a lot more. We're just gonna kind of eyeball it here. We're playing with fire. Actually, we're playing with flour. But this is coconut flour jerks. It's a uh, it's a paleo flour, so it's, uh, I mean, I don't know how it's made, but I'm assuming it's, you know, it's ground up coconut. Sab's going to clean up his following list. I need to do that some more, too. I, I was in some follow for follow, um, it's like, uh, early on in my, my streaming career, thinking that's a really good way to grow. Uh, that's debatable, but, so I follow some people that I'm like, I'm okay following them, supporting them, but, you know. They're not really checking me out or anything like that, or I'm not really watching them. So, I mean, I don't really want to, like, unfollow people for unhappiness or anything like that. It's just a matter of, like, you know, I don't, probably not going to watch it anymore because I'm just, you know, not interested in the game you're playing or whatever and whatever. I don't know. I'm probably a jerk. Guys, I'm a jerk, I know, probably. Um, yeah, almond flour. You, almond flour is very common to use for this two jerks. Um, I actually have a little bit of almond flour, but I wanted to just try just just coconut flour because I have way too much of it. Um, but yeah, most of the most of the rest paleo um, chicken tender recipes actually use almond flour and coconut flour or just almond almond flour. And almond flour actually will give kind of a nice crispier taste, I think probably too. This will be a little bit lighter lighter breading. Um, so yeah, if you're if you're encouraged to make this, definitely use almond flour. Find some recipes. Um, almond flour, I, I I like it. I like it a little bit better than coconut flour actually. Uh, but I just have so much of this, and I want to use it up. Um, but I've actually made almond flour crust pizza, and that's pretty intense because uh, it because almond flour is so dense. I mean, it's ridiculously dense. Let's see, let me catch up here. <laughs> yeah, I do go to go to bed pretty early. Uh, so I do miss like Rachel's stream, unfortunately, and I think there's a couple others I'd like to watch too. Yeah, that's awesome, Sab. I, I kind of agree too. I mean, I it's not that I want to hurt anybody's follower account because I know that's kind of a big thing. Although, I mean, there's there's probably especially with follow for follow for follow things existing, um, you know, there's a very small correlation in the number of followers and the number of viewers. I mean, obviously, somebody that has you know a ton of followers has a more likelihood of having higher viewership, but you know, not necessarily. Um, so I went to the Twitch meetup in St. Louis a couple a couple weeks ago. And I met some people in person, but I didn't really build a, because I was hanging out with Regis the whole time. I'm like, I didn't really build a rapport with too many other people. And there's a couple people I had some things in common. And then I tried to check out their channels because I actually met them in person. But, uh, you know, a lot of them, you know, I, 
I think that it's kind of still been like, a, oh, hey, you know, it's almost like a follow for follow, but it's just in person instead of on a, on a Twitch channel. So I, I think that was a little disappointing, but I also didn't stay very late because I was not feeling well. I was super tired and I was really happy just to kind of hang out with Regis. So that made that made the trip to St. Louis pretty well worth it anyways to meet him. And also I hung out with some old college friends. All right, we got 20 seconds on the clickety clock. But thank you, Sad, for the nice words, too. I appreciate you you popping in here. Uh, always love chatting with you on our, on uh, my stream and Slissa's stream. And uh, you are an American hero for helping me out with uh, the if this, then that stuff. Okay, so let's get this in here. We're running critically low. Hey, welcome back. Did you guys get chicken nuggets? And if so, from where? Catch up on chat before I flip these bad boys. Yeah, there you go. I mean, one million followers gets. I mean, there's. I'd be interested to see, like, the average. I don't know. Um, what would that be? The rates or whatever. I mean, not that it means anything because I think somebody that maybe is like a really really good streamer that has like a thousand followers. Maybe they get like, I mean, it's probably not very likely that they would get, you know, like 500 viewers because people have lives. They can't always watch at the same time, but I'd be interested to see, like I'm a kind of a numbers geek, so I'd be interested to see like who has a, you know, a high ratio or a high percentage in that. But Sleepy Bear and Layla Fox are hanging out here too. And you guys just got back from getting chicken nuggets, it sounds like. Um, maybe that was a Kappa situation, but either way... Our chicken nuggets should hopefully be done. Uh, oven mitts, that's what I need. Fire bed. Fire hurts. Fire hurt, Rexar. All right, let's, let's just pull this one out here. This one's been in there a little longer. So my only concern is making sure that the thicker pieces got cooked all the way through. All right, we're not gonna use that fork, that's disgusting. Let's see here. Looks like it's cooked. And we'll just we'll just eat it. Not no top. Yeah, it's pretty cooked. Yep, I know. I know it's very hot. Caveman things that I do, but food's good. Uh, let's get a plate for that one. So it tastes alright. It's um it's not bad for a pretty easy chicken nugget. Put that one on the big boy plate. Let's just uh, ease around. That's still hot too. We'll use this. That's what adults do. Oh, there's a there's an instruction too. You could actually broil broil it to crisp it up. We're gonna do that. I don't remember what the instruction was, so we're just gonna broil and uh, see what happens. You might you might get to see some blooper reels, guys. Pretty good. Check this other one before we go to Broil Town, USA, I reckon. Pretty good. Oh yeah, oh, here's some sizzle for you. So I just cut a big piece. Oh my goodness, you can actually see some of the juice in there, I think. It's not bad. There's like the, very slightest amount of pink, but I think it's actually okay. Um, you know, yeah, I'll cut some of the, oh yeah, no, I think that's good. All right, we're gonna go to broil town, guys. Let's see what happens. So the purpose of broiling here is to give a little bit of crisp. It might not get a lot of crisp just because I'm just using coconut flour. I think almond flour would probably crisp a little bit better. Um, but I just, like I said, didn't want to use it as much. So let's do a minute, question mark. Again, laptop, well, laptop's kind of up. See if I can see it, yep, you, you failed, laptop. Thanks for admitting to your faults, it's okay. Loading, loading, it, well, it's gonna load for a couple days, so we'll see, but, um, oh yeah, sorry, I'm missing chat here, it was stuck. 
<laughs> Where'd you get chicken tenders from? Not paleo, that's all right. Who's the new guy? Now you have to go look at your follower. I'm sure that's not the case, Layla. How's broil different than bake? So broil is just, uh, it's like your, your top coils. I'd put you in the oven, but that seems really irresponsible as a friend, but. So broil is just like, just gets ridiculously hot, like super hot coils, I believe on top. Yep, the top coils. And so it's just gonna like torch the crap out of um, your food. And so it's a good way to uh, like give a, a crispiness to it. Those are not all tech technical terms there. Yeah, I'm kind of the same way, Sab. I mean, I mean, I'll be honest, you know, I, I swear a little bit outside of the Twitch roll, but it's actually kind of nice to take some time to not swear sometimes. It's actually kind of a nice challenge to not swear. And I'm, I mean, I'm not, by no means am I swearing like a sailor. No offense to sailors, but you know, the, the expression, but um, I know I, I get kind of turned off too when I go to streams and they're just swearing to swear and, or too much drinking too. So I, I don't know. It's been kind of interesting. I never thought that would be kind of the way I'd go, but you know, it's fine. Even those that want to swear and drink, that's that's great for them too. That's all good. You know, everybody has a choice of what they want to watch. Yeah, life is life. Things slip out. That's for sure. Uh, <laughs> all right. Well, we broiled. We came. We saw. We broiled. I think Christopher Columbus said that. Somebody look that up on Wikipedia. Yes, <laughs> trying to stuff my face at the moment. Please leave a message. All right, let's. Uh, some of these are getting pretty, pretty uh, nice. So this one's not burning my hands. So we'll show you this one. This one looks pretty good. Ding! Ooh, how hot! Yeah, same same here, who cares? I mean, kind of the same way. Just too much. It's all, but you know, they, everybody's feel free to, you know, do what they want to do. And we all have the choice to choose where we want to be. Yeah, it's all, it's all good. <clears throat> all right, yeah, this is looking pretty, pretty good. There's actually getting, it's a nice little brown, dark brown char to it. So he totally missed the, the broil versus bake speech. Um, all good. Let's ah, not die. All right, didn't die. They made it. Okay, so we'll turn this back to this. I'll already throw these over here. Um, let's put a lot of these in a container too so we can uh, start the next batch. So broil versus baking. So broil is where your top coil on your oven gets turned on and it gets really, really hot. So imagine like you, it's like a tanning bed basically for, for your food. That's probably the best way to explain it. It's a tanning bed for your food. Um, but no, it gets a, like a pretty high heat. I don't know the temperatures. I'm not a doctor, but a really high temperature. And it allows so that things crisp in, um, or they like to sear the outsides. Um, or like if you're making like pizza bread with cheese on it, it'll help melt the cheese even quicker and faster or brown the cheese as well. So that's what broil is. Um, so most people like a little, you know, brown crisps to their chicken nuggets as an adult. So that's what we're gonna do. Whoa, my laptop just talked to me. That was weird. Not only is my laptop really slow and bad at pulling a website up that I put up 30 minutes ago, it's also possessed and talking to me. So, fortunately I'm streaming. Guys, call the cops if this laptop comes and poltergeists me and abducts me into the laptop. I need you guys to help me out on that. Yep, got the snow thrower back there. You know it. 
Uh, thought I could get rid of it, but... Okay. Call swearing while streaming going mainstream. <laughs> that's, that's funny, Marie. A lawnmower in the house? That is actually the, the snowblower. You got food and bunny ears for Foxy. Ooh. Not nice, Layla. Now, now I'm like worried I'm going to keep calling you Leela, so I don't know why I started calling you Leela. I mean, I knew, I know your name was Layla, but for whatever reason, like reading it on, on stream, I kept saying uh, Leela. Okay, let's make some more chicken. Um, I do live alone, um, so it's pretty great, too. I've, uh, I bought this house, I think, eight years ago, quite a while ago, and I had some roommates at first. Um, like I had some cousin roommates and it just didn't really work out very well. And then, so they, they were only here about 10 months. And then after that, I was like, live it alone. Pretty sweet. Do whatever I want. Pretty great. Everybody should live alone. I, well, I shouldn't say that. I mean, you, you can make whatever life decisions you want, but I think it's a great experience to live alone. Um, <clears throat> pretty great. Ooh, that was a dry piece of chicken tender, I reckon. <clears throat> I think we're going to need some ketchup with these uh, chicken nuggets just to uh, oh, give a little liquid. So as I mentioned, coconut flour is incredibly dry. So I'm going to grab my, my LaCroix. <coughs> This stream is sponsored by LaCroix. Not yet. Actually, we should respray this before we do cooking things. So again, I'm using a Spectrum coconut spray oil. Oh boy. Yep, making a mess. This is the one of the things you can do when you live alone, is you can make a mess, and then you can clean it up. It's pretty great. Well, uh, I don't think I ever watched uh, Lilo and Stitch. All Canadians call you that, eh? I mean, who am I to say Canadians wrong? Yes, Layla hit rank ten, and we're gonna get her to legend. We're gonna—I'm gonna, gonna co-trip the legend. Uh, coconut spray. Um, you should be able to get some of the grocery stores. Maybe you might have to look in the healthy aisle or. Um, your cooking spray aisle, perhaps. Um, but I haven't seen a lot of it. Um, there, a ton of stores don't necessarily have it, so it is a little bit harder to find. Lilo and uh, Stitch Stream? Uh, I don't know. If you guys want to watch it, maybe I'll watch it with you. It seems like that uh, violates some sort of terms and services to watch a uh, copyrighted movie on your stream. But I think I've seen some people do something like that. Okay, so we're just uh, flowering these last couple dudes, chicken nuggets. And by last couple, I mean the last like pound and a half. Stop it, laptop. Nobody's talking to you. All right, well, let's see. We got an ad. Okay. It's speaking Spanish, it's pretty good. It is interesting. Okay. Gotta love live television, guys. Alright, let me do this. Yeah, no, I, I, I love the idea, actually. I, I do it on your stream if you wanted. Um, last game of existence. On your stream or off stream, whatever you want. I, I'm happy to help. Yeah, nice. I have, I have coconut oil, too. Um, laptop, seriously. Yeah, rolling the ch uh, the chicken in coconut flour and some seasoning. Like, I have garlic powder, onion powder, my secret weapon. It's no longer a secret. I have to kill you guys now. It's, it's uh, no longer a secret. But um, Cone Rico, hot and spicy jalapeno seasoning, salt and pepper. So that'll give the some flavor into it. 
Um, I don't know, the, the chicken piece that I had wasn't overly flavorful, but it's all right. It was okay. It wasn't dry, which is good. I'm pretty sick of eating unbreaded chicken. Like I have been the last four years, pretty much. You go here. Now we're running out of egg egg wash too. So we're we're taking the chicken pieces, we're putting in the egg wash so that the flour sticks a little bit better. Well, this is pretty slimy chicken, so it might uh, it might stick okay anyways. Which is which is what I'm hoping because we're almost at egg wash. Because I only had two eggs, and for five pounds of chicken, you probably needed four or five eggs. But it's all right. We wing it. That's what we do. We we let our cheapness get the best of us. And by we, I mean me. But uh, yeah, I would be happy to coach you guys the legend. Um, I mean, legend just, I mean, I can give you kind of the high level tips right now. And these are the same ones that, you know, I've heard Kibor say and, and others say is, I mean, stick with a deck. Hopefully you're having fun with it, first of all. Hopefully you have fun with the deck that you choose. And it should probably be a, a good deck, you know, like a tier one, tier two deck. Um, so you can go to... Um, I think Vicious, well, no, uh, Tempo Storm, I think, kind of has the tier list, and that's pretty good. So, TempoStorm.com will have the tiers. So, I recommend, you know, tier one or tier two, because that'll mean you'll, you'll have more success playing a better deck if you can. Um, then, just find a deck that hopefully it's good and you like it, and just really just kind of stick with that. And I know sometimes that's not always the most exciting thing for, for viewers, but that is really the best way to get the legend is master a deck, master a good deck, and then continue to play it. Even if you lose five or six in a row, instead of switching decks, it's better just to kind of take a break. Um, I mean, either from Hearthstone or, or whatever, and just go like, I don't know, go eat chicken nuggets or something like that. Or, um, cause what happens and this is also a big thing that I kind of relearned a couple months ago is that if, if you're, you're playing and then you lose five or six in a row, you're like, oh, I'm bad at Hearthstone all of a sudden. Which, when you think logically, it's like, no, I didn't just get bad at Hearthstone. I might, I might have made a few bad plays and not even realized it. Um, or I might have made a few bad plays and, and realized it. Uh, but what really just happens is there's still a lot of variation. Even though there, there really are like only a handful of decks that are played at the high ranks, um, still there's a little bit of variation. So you may run into like five or six Warlocks in a row and Murloc Paladin is a very great deck except against uh, Warlock is its worst matchup. Um, so and also having HS Deck Tracker is also really good too. Yeah, HS Replay. Okay, so HS Replay has a metal list too. I usually go to HS Replay when I want to find a deck too. I couldn't remember if it had a, a tier list or not. Let me finish up these little last chicken tenders and I'll catch up on chat guys. I kind of caught a little bit of it. Um, but that's really the best advice right there that I could give to start. But yeah, master a good deck and just continue to play it. And you know, to be honest, sometimes it's not really that fun to play up to legend. It's um, after the first time. It's really awesome getting there. It's a great accomplishment. And that's why I don't really rush the legend because it's like, I don't know. It's, it's kind of more fun sometimes to play fun decks and fun decks a lot of times they're not ones that win or you played you know the meta decks that were fun so much that it's less fun oh yeah we are pretty much almost completely out of egg wash but it's all right we're gonna make it we're gonna make it work guys and if not we're gonna go to uh, sleepy bear's house and eat some of their uh, chicken tenders hope you guys buy it a lot yeah we'll cheer you on too we'll get you uh, watch you get the legend. There's still time. I, what's today? Like the 22nd, 23rd? Or I don't know. It's still March, right? It's March, right, guys? I can't be bothered with dates and times and the such. There we go. All right. We finally got through all our chicken. God bless America. Can't wait to uh, wash that. By wash that, I mean throw it in the, uh, rinse it off, and throw it in the dishwasher, and make robots do my work. By robots, I mean machines that aren't robots. Okay, so we got we had enough flour, maybe. That's all right. You're gonna have. You will never get the. If you get the right 
perfect amount of flour, you're you you scare me. You're a witch. That's that's what it is, because that would be pretty close to impossible. And and actually, it would be really kind of frustrating just to have. Seriously, the laptop totally interrupted me. Uh, that'd be weird to have the the right grain amount of flour. Okay, trying to tear this apart. Rip. Okay. All right. Do 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 do. do. I'm really excited uh, for those of you that watch Slissa. It sounds like she's gonna do a breakfast pizza tomorrow, which is one of my favorite things to make too. I haven't made one in a long time, but I will have breakfast pizza. Um, so I'm gonna probably probably try to make one of those. I know my last pizza was I think episode three on YouTube. Not a super inspiring recipe, but that's okay. It was just felt like making pizza on my birthday and eating ice cream cake. Uh, but I really do need to eat like a really good pizza. I know I've brought that up three or four times already. Um, I don't think I sprayed this one. All right, let me spray this real quick. My powdery, powdery hands here. Making a mess. Making a mess, guys. Rip, clean kitchen. Put those over there. So this this will help so it doesn't stick as much. It'll also give it, kind of help get a crisp to it. Because ultimately you need, fat gets a bad rap in the world, but fat's actually a very important nutrient for the body, but it's also very important for taste. And uh, it has some attributes like being able to crisp um, and the such when you cook it. So that's why we throw in coconut oil, which is a fat. Okay, last couple and then I will be dancing for happiness and I'll be done doing this. We'll put this in then we will Eat our chicken nuggets and chill. Okay. So moral of the story is I would say chicken strips would be a little bit quicker and easier, but maybe not. I don't know. Also, make sure your laptop works uh, before you try to use it as on recipe. Use it to show your recipe on stream. Okay. God bless America. We're done. Okay. Do that. Let's wash our hands off. Throw these bad boys in the pool. Catch one chat. Oh, all right. Okay. Put 10 minutes on the clock and go. All right, I'm going, I don't want to clean too much because that's not as fun to watch, but I do want to put some of this stuff out of the way. So I'll BRB here. Okay, sorry, I promised a kitchen and chat here, so it's nothing to see here. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Ba -ba -ba -ba. All right. Do -do -do. I know you can only see half my head here, so there we go. All right. So much awesome chat. You guys rock here. Oh, what did I, <laughs> what did I say uh, to violate the stream terms of service? I forgot. I know that was like 25 minutes ago, probably. Yeah, I mean, I play with tier one decks, though, mainly. I'm a, I'm a net decker. It's it's a good thing, though. I mean, not everybody has enough, you know, a full-time gig to be able to play Hearthstone all day. To those, that's awesome that they can, but, um, 
you know, you gotta you gotta have a good deck if you're if you don't play, you know, eight hours, six, five, six hours a day. Mmm. Yeah, the meta is pretty decent right now. I watch um, Omni Stone, so the heart. Um, so Kibler's thing is Omni, like Omni Slash is the channel on YouTube. Um, for those of you who haven't heard of them, they do Omni Stone, which is a, a video podcast of Hearthstone. They they were talking about how much they like the meta. I think the meta is pretty decent. My favorite meta was still the Ungoro meta, though. Yeah, I'll get you the recipe here, Sleepy Bear, uh, someday when it when it works. I, I actually really kind of adapted from various recipes, though. Uh, so what what I did was probably like a mix of a lot of them and a little bit not correct in some ways, but that's all right. This might be going to be legend. <laughs> you can't eat a lot, Sab. Small stomach. Hey, that's a good thing. That's a that's a good thing. Usually, for the most part, I can eat too much. Yeah, Slicea is doing the cooking stream tomorrow. Uh, I'm pretty excited for it. Be there, be square. Hey, Marina Mandarina, how are you doing? Sorry if I missed your uh, your hello there. I was. Uh, had a lot of egg wash and raw chicken on my hand, so I was taking a break from chat here. So I know there's some requests for Discord. Are you referring to like a mine or some others? I know I have a I have a Discord. I'm keeping it mostly sub only as much as I can. Um, although I may do kind of like what Sab set up for Salissa and do like a um, a subsection and a and a non subsection as well. Um, just that's the only reason why I'm doing that is just because uh, I've seen like when I came on the Twitch was Regis Kilburn was doing mm -hmm. that, so it's kind of a nice benefit. Um, so I want to try to find as much as I can give to my subs, but um, but we'll uh, I don't know I kind of like the idea of maybe making it uh, public also as well. I do have a Discord, yeah. Okay, so yeah, yeah. So get in Leyland Sleepy's uh, Discord too. I'm really happy to be there now. I should, I should uh, share a picture with you, the ice in there too. I'll I'll try to do that if I uh, remember later. Conversations are so deep. You just cry when you see a warlock. I do too, unless I play the uh, um, the. The Jade Claws, Rummaging Jade Claws. Slicer, oh my god, you're here. You probably like left like 10 minutes ago because it took me so long to catch up in chat. How you doing, dear? How you doing, Mon? She smelled it. <laughs> well, it doesn't smell like much, to be honest. It smells a little bit like a light coconut, uh, powdery, flowery flavor with, uh, that's about it. It's pretty much, that's pretty much smell. It's all right. Hey, you know what? If you weren't meant, meant to gain weight, it's all right. We all come in different shapes and sizes, and we're all beautiful snowflakes. We love our fishermen. <laughs> yeah, I saw the HS or the Hearthstone workout meme. I love that. That was so good, Layla. I love that idea. I would, I would consider doing that, but I don't know if I, because I think it was Warlock was uh, it was get wacky by on turn five. Do seven push-ups. Um, that's how I kind of tore my, part of my my pec and uh, um, rotator cuff. So I probably shouldn't do three thousand on stream. But I'd love to watch Slissa do that. Maybe throw those throw those in uh, tomorrow after the cooking stream. You know, nothing says a good workout like a full stomach of breakfast pizza and uh, you know doing some push-ups. It's pretty good. Okay, we still have a mess, guys. Yeah, we're definitely gonna need some ketchup with this. So, 
one thing I will share, like I said, coconut flour is incredibly dry. Um, highly recommend. Oh my god, I'm still still behind on the chat. I thought I was uh, caught up here. Good day, good day, Taz Dinko. How you doing, mate? Hope you're having a wonderful day. Yeah, coconut. Coconut's a weird flavor. I mean, this is at least a lighter coconut, so it's not too bad. But I don't really like coconut, like in cake and cookies and such. <clears throat> yeah, so I, I saw you we were asking about the Switch. So didn't somebody uh, donate it to you? And then you're looking up games uh, to play with it. I would, I would probably watch you. Uh, Watch, uh, play some Switch. Yes, uh, Taz Dingo is uh, from the land down under, mate. And he can tell you about some shrimps on the bobby, as well as uh, what an life looks like. Yeah, it's a cooking spray. You got your DNA report. Uh oh. Tell us more. That's got to have all sorts of juice in it, right? I mean, 50% Phoenix, we know that. Um, another 25% American. Hey, thank you for the follow, uh, botch specialist. <laughs> I like to think I'm a botch specialist too. All right, let's uh, get this disgusting raw chicken off here. So for those of you just joining, We made chicken. We made chicken nuggets and we're adult, so it's cool. Um, so we have one one batch, about two and a half pounds here. Um, and then we have another two and a half pounds going. Zero percent American, what? What? The stream is popping. Zero percent Asian. Uh-oh. This is getting juicy, guys. Hey, Phil <laughs> How you doing? Yeah, it's going really well, Bosch Specialist. Just uh, finishing up the second half of the adult chicken nuggets. Well, you're obviously 80% Jamaican as well, Slicer. Uh, I think we know that, Mon. So that's good. Details. Go on. Go on. Um, yeah, so to get back to this, while, while we find out more of the DNA makeup of, of Slissa, um, is I would probably encourage to try some almond flour with it too. Almond flour will just be a bit, I don't know, a little bit better, give a little bit more flavor, but this isn't too bad. I think it's gonna require a little ketchup with it because it is dry. Try Taz is 100% straying. Born near Lake Forsters. He's trained many kangaroos. I don't know where I was going to go with that, but it's pretty good. Tars loves my Australian accent. <laughs> that's loves in quotation marks. Okay, so that's the first 10 minutes. So let's uh, take a look at this bad boy. And in the middle of the story, she goes rollerblading. It's all good. She She's, she's a pro. I mean, she's... So this is a pro streamer. She, she knows how to tease here. She's just setting the suspense for tomorrow. She's going to be three or four mimosas in. She's like, all right, guys. Time to lay out the dirt here. This is, this is my DNA makeup. I know you don't talk like that, but sometimes it just happens for me. You can't unlearn it. We have thoroughly made a mess, guys. This is a PR in mess making. It's pretty good. You guys are live here to witness it. 98.2% north, uh, what would you say, western, northwestern Europe. Yeah, that's pretty much me too. I think I'm roughly, I would say a quarter Italian, quarter Norwegian, quarter Welsh, and quarter German, yes. But uh, it's probably a lot more complicated than that. I never got the DNA thing. I'm just making up my own math. I just like to talk like that. I reckon. I hear you talking like that all the time there, Slissa. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. All right, we need safety gloves. Not really safety gloves. Nobody calls them that. That's not what that is. 
We also need to not put our head right in the oven. So that's also a learning lesson too. I've, I made that mistake a few times. Uh, guys, don't stick your head in the oven. It's not good. I did, I could wear my cowboy hat too. We got we got 10 minutes left before this is cooked and I can eat with my cowboy hat on. Although I, I like to say, you know, I like to save for special occasions, but for you, for you, Taz, we, you got it, brother. Are you sure you don't want the Aussie hat though? I mean, we better do the cowboy hat. The cowboy hat is really hard to put the headset on. The Aussie hat, I can I can wear the Aussie hat and headphones. Okay, so let me let me show you guys what's happening over here. That's a pretty good looking one here. It's kind of hot, so look at it fast. I don't have I don't have instant replay. I'm sorry, uh, but it's starting to brown. It's good. It's good, good, good. So these bad boys back in there. Get back in the pool. Don't come out until you're uh, done tanning. Just flipping, uh, flipping the rest of them. I don't know why I have to make that noise. It's like a spaceship noise as I attack the chicken tenders that are tanning in my oven. I should show you, oh, since Liz is here, I should show you what not Florida looks like. So I know we talk a lot about how you hate cold states or you would, maybe hate the strong word. You would not want to live in a cold state. That's what you say. Um, I do want to show you what's going on outside and show you my backyard too. So we're going to, we're going to go on a little journey guys. Strap, strap on your seat belts guys. Strap on your helmets if you need one. All right, let's uh, put eight minutes on the clock and go. 18.7%, okay. Oh God, darn you Streamlabs, you tricked me again. I broke it. Coming back guys, I think. Someday I'll be back. All right, well this is a good time to take in a tour here. Whoa, my head's really close. Hey, Lemon Drops, how you doing? Ugh, geez. All right, let's show you the let's show you what the outdoors looks like. This is the, my backyard, guys. That's a that's a deck covered in snow. It's uh it's March. It's supposedly supposedly spring here in the in the America, but uh, you would not be able to tell by looking out my window. Hey Bronx, how you doing, man? All right, let me catch up. You guys are blowing up, loving it. It's popping because uh, all you guys are here, and we're back to Streamlabs being a jerk. Okay, we're back. I still don't believe. I think you're more than zero percent American. <laughs> Spot on impression. All right, cowboy hat. That's the vote. Yeah, no, I'm at least one percent Aussie. I, I didn't didn't forget to mention that. Twenty nine point five percent British Irish. So did they do a blood test then? Hey, Joe CR, how you doing? Hopefully I didn't miss you. I apologize. Uh, a lot of action going on here. It's been an amazing stream, guys. It's pretty good. I, I'm, I'm assuming you're not memeing us here, uh, Salissa. I've seen a lot of percentages, and I cannot do the math right now. But that's awesome. That's awesome you know that. I should get, I should get that done. I speak Australian, mate. Your your American frat boy accent's pretty good. You gotta go check out Tars's uh, stream sometimes. Twenty six percent unknown. That's the Jamaican. That's Jamaican for uh, Slissa. That is what they call snow. Uh, you don't have any snow in uh, Australia, do you, mate? I thought about doing the, was it the 23 and Me, um, But I think it was, I don't know, it just seemed like a kind of expensive for what you get. You, you find out like, I found out like one or two interesting things. 
And he was like, well, this could be... I think one of the things is, that I wanted to know was like ancestry or something like that. I don't know. And it's like, well, it may not be correct. It's like, oh, okay, well, great. You sold me. <clears throat> half bear, half shark. It's pretty good. Well, I'm going to trust you guys on the math here. So let me go grab my cowboy hat here. <clears throat> How y'all doing? Hope you guys doing good. All right, so we have another four minutes on the clock, I reckon. The same here, Sab. Um, like that's, I'm from a very working class Italian side of town, so that's kind of the, the Italian side is what I embrace, embrace even though it's like only 25%. Oh yeah, we could do a cooking stream, Taras. Special guest, Taz Dingo. We could cook up some kangaroo. Okay. So I'll, I'll, I'll ask you, Salissa, um, do you use Streamlabs when you use, uh, do your cooking streams or do you use just Twitch? So I'm using Streamlabs and it's kind of nice where you have the chat and all the stuff up there, but it's like, it's really fickle. Like if you just, if you swipe in a certain way, um, and then that's where it starts like going the other way and all that stuff. So thank you for approving of the hat there. Who cares? I reckon that's a minor kind of you. Um, yeah, Tars is a buddy of mine that I met through Regis Kilburn's stream. And so we, sometimes we play Fortnite together uh, and he's in my discord as well. So it's just beautiful Aussie accents. Pretty great. He's a good sport about it. Because obviously I butcher it, so it's pretty great. Hey, Kiko, how you doing, dear? Hope you're doing well. Middle, they they drive in the middle of the road. I like it. I, I'm assuming it's just like Mad Max um, in Australia. I mean, there's no rules. It's all about just getting getting oil and surviving every day. I assume. How how accurate am I, Tars and Kiko? We have another Aussie in the chat, Kiko Mod. <laughs> yeah, I mean, all the Aussies know each other, I think. I mean, it's uh, it's an island. I mean. Whew. That is some... It's pretty good chicken, though. So I think... Um, it's not bad. I think uh, we're... We'll broil this next one a little longer. Are you you're hearing the beeping? So I've heard... I know sometimes I think when I touch the screen... It makes a beep, and uh, I don't like it, but I don't know that I can do anything about it. So, I don't know. I might, might go back to streaming via Twitch, um, the Twitch app instead of Streamlabs, and just see if I can get Twitch chat always on there. <laughs> yeah, mate, bloody oath. <laughs> I dig it. I dig it. Everyone is on mate. It's pretty good. Very friendly. Very friendly. Everybody's cousins. Everybody's hanging out. Everybody's checking the ring as we, we were talking about before. Checking the old boomerang. Ooh. That's that's not bad. It's a little cold because it's been sitting there, but is this face touching ASMR? I don't know. Did I did I touch my face? Am I touching your guys' face? Boop. That probably made another noise too. I'm sorry. Rip quality streaming. I live in Iowa, which is a snowy, snowy place right now. No, yeah, I touched yours. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That's right. I'm, I'm just a loving kind of guy. I just want to, you know, if I meet all you guys in person, just slap my hand out of the way. If you don't like me touching the face. No, I won't touch you guys' face. Probably not. Probably not. All right. 15 seconds. 
snow. Ha! That's true. That's true, Rach. I mean, probably nothing compared to what you got. Um, okay, so the plan now is um, these are going to be done. We're going to take a gander at them. Beep, beep. Yeah, I don't know. I gotta, I gotta figure out this uh, a little bit better setup for RL streaming. But you guys are hanging out, so Just appreciate the uh, dealing with the the weird beeping and camera flipping and cowboy hatting and all other bloopers that are going on. Yeah, I mean, I think it's probably done. Let's cut through just a thick one here. Ooh, listen to that sizzle, guys. You hear that? Sounds like freedom. Yep, that's freedom. You can actually see. Oh my God, God bless America. That's some juice. There's a little bit of juice in there, even though we cooked the chicken, and chicken doesn't like to stay juicy. So we're gonna do the broil action again, just to get a nice firm crisp on the outside. It'd be pretty good. Sure is warm in there. Feels like Australia in there, I tell you what. Okay. All right, so we'll broil for two minutes. Yeah, it's the perfect time for a Hattie. I reckon, I reckon Hattie, Hattie Bronx. Thank you for the sub, by the way. Bronx over here, I reckon. He, he comes in, he's like, hey, you stream? Well, he doesn't say it like that. I, I would say it like that, but. Uh, he's like, hey, I'll follow you. Oh, and I'll just subscribe to you. You don't even know if I'm any good. You don't even know if I'm any good. I could be worst streamer on Twitch. Could be, could be. Probably not, but could be. So I appreciate the, the sub buddy and the follow and hanging out. It's all very good. Sounds like Taz is going to get some brekkie. Pretty good. What's on the menu today? Turn British. All right, so we are broiling our chicken tenders or our, our adult chicken nuggets. You get a nice little brown on the outside. It's pretty good. Synchronized watches. Hey, thank you so much, Will, for hanging out. I appreciate it. Sorry I missed getting your, your high at first, but yeah, get some sleep. Hopefully you have a wonderful evening. Uh, I will eat chicken in your honor while you sleep. And thank you for the compliment on the food. Making you hungry. I know. Uh, I'm still a little full from eating all the stuff from earlier but I'll eat a, I'm gonna eat a little bit I'm really just kind of eating it in front of you guys because that's easier than sitting at a well it's easier than sitting at a table and eating I do want a little ketchup with it though for a Rose Bowl attendee well it's such a high honor uh, I think I'm trying to think I think I have some souvenirs from there but next uh, next stream remind me and I'll go find like if I'm playing Hearthstone I'll go find uh, find that KFC for lunch, I reckon. Well, that sounds all right. I mean, I guess I got everybody motivated to eat some uh, some crispy chicken. Uh, Sleepy Bear and Layla went and go grab some chicken tenders. That's good. Beep, beep, beep. That was my microwave, aka timer. All right, let's, you guys want to take a look? You guys want to take a look? Okay, we'll take a look. Yeah, yeah, KFC's, I don't eat fast food very often just because I'm cheap and try to eat everything that I cook or try to cook everything I eat, whatever that you would say there. Uh, some of these are, I think these can use a little more time. This one, oh my goodness, this is, this is picture perfect, guys. Oh, yeah, that's a, that's a good one. I think I want to, I want to broil a little longer. I want to get it extra crispy, guys. This is Colonel Mighty Rise recipe. Extra, extra heat. We'll do another uh, two more minutes. No, oh, that's probably a lot. We'll do a minute. So broiling is very hot. You want to really monitor that uh, quite a bit. Hey, Vista, how are you doing? Howdy, howdy, ma'am. Howdy, cowboy. Shouldn't assume gender. Got some feedback in my Discord about the bot. Let me know. Yeah, sounds like it is very productive feedback, so I, I appreciate that. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, 
Okay. Fryer. Uh, I don't, uh, I've never really done the air fryer. I'm um, not too familiar with it, but uh, I don't know. I don't know enough about it. What is it? How does it fry? Does it heat up the air? Or is, you gotta assume there's some oil involved, right? I mean, I think if it, if it involves oil, then oil's fine. Um, oh, is it broil? Yeah, it could be. I don't know. That'd probably be good. Uh, do we have country bars here? Um, yeah, we have. Some, we definitely have some country bars. Uh, we could go there some night. You want to learn uh, some line dancing? We can line dance. Um, yeah, if it's all air, that's pretty awesome. I haven't. I haven't used one. I try to keep uh, a little bit contraption free as far as like kitchen kitchen machines just because I don't know I'm cheap but so it's so pretty sweet I'll have to look into it um because I think that'd be something that nice especially if it's just air I mean air is delicious um should spice up a lot of things crisp it up I don't usually fry stuff in a frying pan very much because it just requires so much oil um that you know try to mean try to watch how much uh, oil and, and fat that I get and um, you know, if you get too much oil, you're going to have a lot of fat and then, uh, you know, you may eat a little bit more fat grams or calories than you, you signed up for. Woo wee! You can see the smoke coming out around out of there. I reckon. That means it's time to take it on out. Don't worry, no chicken was harmed in the making of this chicken nuggets. It was harmed well before the chicken nuggets were made. Ooh, that's still warm. Let's not, uh, touch me there. So, yeah, I don't know. That's still the good one here. I think they got a little crispier. So now they all have a little bit of a crisp like that. I mean, again, with I think almond flour would be a better crisping agent. Um, it's got almonds are fat, or well, they're a nut, but they are dense in fat too. So that I think that would make it brown a little bit better and maybe even taste a little bit better. So maybe I regirt a little bit, not using uh, some almond flour. You did uh, line dancing in Houston. <laughs> uh, your bloody 